if you want to write a formula here on the form responses tab where the form responses are submitted from a Google form um, when new responses are submitted they don't match up with your formulas you'd have to redo your formulas or copy and paste them down so what I do instead is I click the plus sign down here at the bottom and I add a sheet and in that sheet I put equals import range parenthesis quotation mark and then what I need is the spreadsheet key. You actually can go from one spreadsheet to a totally different spreadsheet, but I'm going to use the exact same spreadsheet. So up here at the top in the URL, you'll notice that in the URL it says key equals and has this long string of random numbers and letters. That is the spreadsheet key. So I want to copy that and paste it into my formula. Don't forget to end the quotation. So I'm going to import the range from this particular spreadsheet, which happens to be the same one, comma, quotation, and then I've got to say which tab I'd like to import from. So in this case, I'm going to do form responses, responses, and then you put an exclamation mark, and then you're going to put the range. So in this case, I'm going to go from A1 to when I look back on the form responses, I actually had four columns, so I'll just go ahead and do it from A1 to D. And right now I have about 70-something responses, but I anticipate that maybe I would get a lot more than that. So I'm just going to go from 1 to 300, even though I don't have 300 responses. In the quotation parenthesis, and I push enter, and it will then act, notice how quickly it just populates the whole thing. It is referencing right back to the form responses tab. So anything that's on there, um, you can grab up at the top of this bar to pull down so it freezes the header row. And that's a nice feature. And if you click on the first cell in A1, notice that the formula is equals import range. But when you look at the other ones, they say continue. So the formula is continuing from the A1. So, so long as A1 is not where the, the form is dumping into, which it's not, um, it's going to pick up even new submissions. So let me go here. Actually, let me come to the form responses and you can see that uh, my last one is row 77 here. I've got grade level 10, male, and no, not cheating. So I'll go to form, go to the live form. I'll do this in grade 12, female, and yes, so you can see that it's different. Once I submit that, Give it one second. It'll show up right there. See, notice that showed up in row 78. I want to go over here to sheet 8, and I come down here. This should, in a minute, sometimes it takes a little while. There can be a little bit of a lag. I'm going to go ahead and push refresh. Um, but it will just show up automatically. So realize it's not the same exact live time. It will come. Um, okay, so there it is. See? Um, so it does show up eventually. You don't have to push refresh. I just did. Um, but eventually it will show up. So it's pulling it from the form responses. So if I had formulas right next to this equals if this cell equals yes, put detention, otherwise put good person. So now I can click on that cell. I can pull down, copy and paste the formula all the way down the sheet. I can also fill it up the sheet too. So now when I fill out the form again, form, go to live form, say 11, male, yes, I've cheated on a test, um, and again, that's going to take a second for it to show up, but once it comes in here, it should already be on this tab. And right here it is right so yes this male 11th grader has cheated on a test and over here there we go it showed up here but the formula that I wrote still works so even though it's on that different column it still references it which is not true when I use some other methods so that actually works out really nicely for me